Hi, I'm Vanessa from SpeakEnglishWithVanessa.com. Have you ever almost died? Let's talk about it. In this video, I'm going to tell you a short story about something really scary that happened to me a couple weeks ago. If you hear any new words or new expressions in the story, I recommend writing them down. I'm also going to give some definitions to expressions here on the video so that you can learn as you listen. For most of us, the most dangerous thing that we consistently do in our lives is drive. Driving has a high mortality rate. It's a pretty dangerous activity. You have to be really careful. And sometimes things are not even your own fault. You have to be a defensive driver as well as offensive driver. You have to make sure that everything is safe around you and that you're being safe as well. A couple weeks ago, as I was driving, I started to hear a strange sound in our car. It kind of sounded like thunk, 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 thunk. And as I slowed the car down, the sound also slowed down with me. And as I went faster, the sound went faster too. So I kind of thought, this is a little strange. Maybe there's something wrong in the engine or maybe there's just something stuck in my car. Let's just see what happens. And a couple days went by and the sound started to get louder and louder. Eventually, when I was in the car with my husband, we both decided, hey, we should probably go to a mechanic just to see what's up with the car. Why is it making this sound? It's kind of worrying us, kind of freaking us out a bit because driving isn't exactly a safe activity, especially when you're barreling down the road at 60 miles per hour. So we decided to go to the closest mechanic and it was five o'clock and the mechanic closed at five. So we rushed in and said, hey, we had this problem. Our car is making a strange sound. Can you just take a quick look at it to see if there's something you can see that's obviously wrong? So he went out, really nice guy. He went out and took a look at our car. And the first thing he saw was this. Three of these are loose. Our wheel was about to come off. This is the bolt that you use to screw on the wheel so that it stays on the car. And ours was about to come off. The mechanic pretty much freaked out when he saw that. And he said, Whoa, you guys are so lucky to be alive. I can't believe that you were driving like this. Most people who have this problem, if it ever happens, they only get down the street a couple feet. They can't make it much further before the wheel falls off. But we had been driving more than that, a couple days, not too far, but for a couple days with that sound. And he said any second more and the wheel could have fallen off. We are so lucky. I'm so thankful that this mechanic came after hours to tighten each of the bolts and the screws and the nuts on the car to make sure that they were on tight. We still don't know why it happened in the first place, but at the moment, the tires and the wheels are safe. We are safe, thank goodness. But at that moment, I have to tell you the truth, I was pretty angry. I didn't know why that happened, and I just imagined all of the terrible things that could have happened. So thankfully, this near-death experience wasn't any closer to death, just a near-death experience. Thankfully, we're safe, everyone is relieved, and I hope that that never happens again. But I wanted to tell you the story just to expose you to natural English and I hope that in the, the comments down here, you learned some new expressions. If you have any questions about the expressions that I wrote, feel free to ask about them. But I want you in the comments of this video to answer this question. Have you ever had a near death experience? I hope not, but I think most of us probably have. Hopefully it wasn't any more dangerous than what I experienced, but 
there's a lot of things out there in the world that are pretty dangerous. So I hope that your experience finished well and it's all finished now, I hope. So let me know in the comments, tell me the story. If you'd like to use any of the expressions that I used in this video, go ahead. Thanks so much for learning with me and I'll see you again the next time. Goodbye. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to download my free ebook where you can learn five steps to becoming a confident English speaker. You can share it on Facebook, upgrade to the listening audio version, and don't forget to check your email to get the free ebook. Let's see what it is. All right, here is the free ebook. You can download yours today. Just click on the link and it will be in your email within a few seconds. Thanks so much for learning with me. Bye.